all right guys today we're back on the city map and we're going to be making a a little shipping container storage kind of little business here in town so obviously we have our neighborhood built in like we and we were we were sh like moving them in with these containers and everybody really enjoyed them all the people that use them said they're awesome and like i was like you know what i was thinking you know thinking a little business idea and i was like let's uh you see this all the time like in your neighborhoods and stuff i guess like uh like in snot smaller towns i would like not really big towns you want i mean you can obviously see them but i'm just saying storage units and then so yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna make storage units enough of me talking we're gonna be using these shipping containers as units and then the person can just have their own lock they'll come open it up and you're probably wondering like how secure is that well we'll have a we'll have a formal gate and then we'll we'll fence it in we'll have lights it'll be somewhat in town too so it's not like it's really on its own so i made this awesome little tray in here too so this one fits a 40 footer 30 30 uh 20 10 20 10 so we're gonna go ahead and load all these guys up i love the little ones these are perfect like so what we're gonna do is we'll just charge people um bit, like on a monthly rate obviously the smaller ones will charge them less the bigger ones will charge them more and we'll kind of see how it all works out okay i'm curious i haven't used the 2010 one i've only used i've only used the 40 footers i haven't used the split kind of sections all right i think we just attached it so i think i'll go one at a time and these are 40 or er, 30 footers these are 30 so and then we'll go drive i still haven't even built an area to make this so here's the neighborhood we have the cop shop somewhere over here and then i think that's open ground we're, we're totally gonna have to see so it's not that big a deal we're gonna be able to work it out so we'll have a bit of painting and sculpting to do but other than that i mean we just have to unload them get everything set up Ooh, the fence is gonna take a while what else kind of needs work but hopefully you guys enjoy this this is always like you see these around all the time uh oh wait what did i just get caught on there one thing that i thought was pretty cool is i've seen a, like a storage uh like unit place usually it's the one that are just like actual structures and not shipping containers but i saw one that was just used semi trailers which i thought was pretty cool so very similar to our shipping containers so if you're like yo spencer nobody does this nobody uses shipping containers i think i think they do you see it um on tv shows where where they auction off like storage containers and people bid from i totally forget what it's ca uh, called it, it used to be really popular when i watched it like years years ago so there is three on i think we have three left what is this one this one's a 20 so this is gonna go in the front it's so hard to walk when there's a huge shipping container right in front of you all right here we go maybe oh no it's slanted i'm, I'm kind of on a little slant here too so i'm gonna go ahead and load these all up i'll save you guys the pain of watching me fumble around with this like and take forever so i'll see you guys when we're done all right guys so we're done here we got it all loaded up i guess you could say loaded up is that the proper word so we made a train on wheels that's kind of that's kind of what we did here i feel like we so i think there's a um i don't I, there's a better word for it like just shipping container boat i was gonna say ferry well the ports are over here and lambo i remember him talking that he wanted to because we have shipping containers in here we have a bunch of other things and he made where am i at he made so this pier he made this and he said that he wanted a uh there's a little boat here and stuff but i know he wanted like a i'm still trying to look for the word not a ferry but just a big shipping container boat ones that like haul the shipping containers that were hauling with the with the semi truck so i know he wanted to do that what is this I'll see AC parking. There's a cool little tugboat here too. That thing, what is this? Four stories tall and look at the exhaust on that thing. Oh my goodness. She's got some chimneys on her. So I'm not, yeah, this is a, a pretty big boat. And then we have what I don't even like a hovercraft. Okay. I'm kind of getting sidetracked. Kind of cool to venture over here. I haven't been over here. This is like the ultimate hovercraft. Look at these things. This should, I don't even, this is like triple the size of like what you see on, um, hovercrafts or whatever. Um, the, the, not pontoon but i'm so bad with like boat names because i really don't know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna stop talking and let's go back over to our initial plan of making storage units out of the shipping container so there's the town it's really coming together like just look at it from this view i really really like it and okay our our little man truck here is struggling a little bit personally i don't like the man vehicles just the way they look but i understand like they're, they're pretty convenient like uh having not the huge nose in the front and it, it's good for in 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 town kind of what we're doing here so 
What I'm thinking is we're gonna take this storage unit or we're gonna build the storage units either to the right of me here or by this motel and I think we'll do it by the motel. I think we'll go in this slot here. It's not gonna be huge. Our tower city isn't huge, so we can't make this too big. I better not pull in there. Oh my it's like a snake. It's like a little train. It's like it's giving me flashbacks from when we used to do our bailing challenge, which we still need. We I guess we don't really have a bailing trailer back in here yet, but yeah, so from the other day, we already have a few uh, FedEx, our, our, our storage containers that we brought in to move people out. Those are already getting out of the way. I think we have two left that we got to pick up. So honestly, we might almost use this, use those containers for this. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but all right, there we go. Get that back on there. I'm going to go ahead, paint this. Uh, we'll do concrete and then fence it in. And then we are ready to go place her down and get things going. I wonder how... Wait, I don't own this land? I don't own this land? What is this? Okay. All right, now I own it. Why don't I own that land in the first place? I got a gazillion dollars. All right. Parfait. There we go, guys. I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so we got it done. We got the fence in. The fence actually, like, well, in-game money, like, real life, obviously, the fence wouldn't. Uh, it would be fairly expensive, but it only cost, like, $2,000. Like, when I went through all the construction costs, we threw up lights, painted down concrete. Of course, we want concrete down. And then I threw up a, I threw up a cabin right there. So, like, our employee who's going to monitor this, he'll live there. And, obviously, we'll, like, we'll pay him to to help out and stuff but one thing i noticed is back in fs yeah back in fs 17 i don't know why i couldn't think of fs 17 the top see so look in the top left hand corner you can see all the trailers which is actually really nice so so here i'm on the truck and then i go and what i mean by the truck i go to the, like these are the containers so this is when i'm selected on the containers and then this is the trailer so this is so nice this is so much better than so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if I press Q. I this is what I'm guessing just Yes. Alright, so that just released. So 
Guys, if you didn't know, there's really no good way for me to unload them besides just using my ultimate strength. And... Uh-oh. Okay, so that is the trailer there. So you have to... Oh my, this is so much nicer. When we did... So when I next time I do like a bailing challenge with a bunch of trailers, um, this is going to be so nice. Because in FS17, I don't know if any of you guys tried it or if you understand what I'm talking about right now. But you see in the top left hand corner how I'm tabbing through? Well, now I know I'm selected on the container. And the only last time... Or FS17, like it only had a few of them. And it wouldn't really show this too good. So I'm really happy that they did this. It's going to help me out quite a... Oh, wait. Did I just... Um, here, let's just, I'll, I think I'm going to attach the back one. So I'm going to grab all these off. I think I can only do it one at a time, which is kind of weird. Be oh, 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 I'm inside of it. Oh no. I wait, how did I just get inside of this? No, I'm, I'm I can't jump. I can't move. Okay. N wait, I thought I was out for it. Let me walk out. Let me, oh, that was kind of cool. So this is how I did it. So I lift it up. And then, here, get closer. Press it down, lift it up, walk inside, let go. And then, and then, it, it, uh, it, you gotta kind of finesse it. Oh, there, wait, I'm out. Okay, so you gotta like grab it, lean it towards you, and then start walking, and then let go once you're out. So, that's kind of cool. I know. I, I guess we can get inside of them now. We better not tell the burglars that, otherwise, they're just gonna walk over here and do that. So, uh, detach there. Yeah, so. I wonder if I just detached all of them. No, I only think I detached the back. Yeah, I only detached the back one. So I do have to do it one at a time. I think I could have loaded them on uh, all and then just press Q, but I'm not really sure how that would have worked out. We go to the next one. Detach. Then the last one. And so what we're going to do is set these guys up in like perfect position. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. I missed it. Oh, that guy's unlocked too. Is this guy unlocked? No, he's attached to the trailer. Okay. So I think I did the whole entire trailer when I pressed Q there. No worries. And then there we go, the last one. So I need to get this snake of a trailer and truck out of here. And there we go. We'll go drive it out. I had two entrances. The only thing... Okay, I didn't make them too good, but the only thing I was thinking about is I need some formal gate where people kind of come in and out. We don't have a gate in the map right now, but for now, it's cool. I'll get it in later, but yeah, we don't have like a gate to, you know, obviously people, not everybody can just come in here. They have to have like the key or they have to, you know, pay the monthly fee to come because we just don't want any Joe Blow kind of just running in here taking containers. All right, now that the snake is out of there, it's still kind of blocking the road. But let's go grab the container, set them on the side. How it's going to kind of work is I'm just pretty much going to have these containers for for uh, for rental, pretty much. And then we obviously get rental income off of it. And, I mean, we still we have to pay a person to watch it. We have security cameras, you know, um, property taxes on the land. And it costs us quite a bit to just set this guy up in the first place, so... But it's pretty good because we're going to have it and people just, I mean, not, not we won't be able to sell everything right at the beginning, but I think things will go pretty good. We'll have our 10 footers over here. And then for pricing, I don't really know what we're going to do. I mean, a 10 foot little box like this is pretty small, but I would charge probably something like 50 bucks a month or I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, we can put so many next to each other. 50 bucks a month actually seems kind of steep, like... It's barely a garage, so if you think about it, how much is Netflix? Netflix is like, it's like, um, what is it, eight bucks a month, nine, something like that. I mean, I'm just trying to com price compare it a little bit. There we go. We'll put that one there. And then if you think about it, we have so much room. I probably made this place too big, but we're just going to be pretty much just adding more and more containers as we go down the line. But I, I, re I really like how it's kind of turning out. There we go. Grab that guy. Pretty much I need more employees here so I can get this done faster than the big old UPS. I didn't use UPS in the last one, but this guy is a big boy. She's uh she's a 40 footer. Is the front the front has to be over here. Okay, I missed it. There we go. Boom. Here, can I walk inside this guy? Grab it. Nope. Let's go on the side. So what I'm doing, I pick up the object, walk there we are. It's actually super easy. There we go. 
There we go. And walk back out. Alright, let's set this guy up over here. Maybe I'll set the 40 footers. Right. There. Alright, so the place looks pretty good. And you guys kind of get a gist. So I'll have the 30 footers along there. The the 10s, the 20s. And then we'll probably stack more 40s on this line. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. I, we we got to get an employee over here. And get him working in this in our cabin. Obviously, we'll have new customers coming in, but we just need to get more containers for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy. I, I like doing kind of these real life, you know, kind of business things. Um, it's not really agriculture, but I mean, it's kind of close. I feel like you guys would be interested in it. I, mowing is not agriculture, but it, you know, it's pretty close. I mean, you're cutting grass. You could, you, you guys know what I mean. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one.